I think it's really important to talk about HIV and adolescence because adolescence is one of the most exciting times of our lives where we experience so many firsts, but it can be really challenging to negotiate some of the tasks and changes of adolescence with any chronic healthcare condition. Even before COVID, this was a topic that was starting not to get as much attention as it needed, even though what the data was telling us at the time is that adolescence is the age where we're seeing a rise in infections, particularly in the context of adolescent girls and young women. So it's important to talk about it because if we can resolve the HIV response around vertical transmission of HIV, if we can stop infants from contracting HIV from their mothers, if we can prevent um, adolescents from contracting HIV, then we've gone a materially far way in resolving the HIV response and working towards an HIV-free generation. So it's critical to talk about um, pediatric and um, adolescent HIV. The young people are a cog into the wheel because they play a critical role in terms of uh, preventing new infections among themselves, but also that they sustain the gains have been made if in, in terms of those who are living with HIV, and therefore they create a better future for this world. Young people will never achieve sustainable development when their health is in danger and ignored, especially when young people are not able to access the information to protect themselves. Besides, young people also face a series of challenges of HIV that will require diverse and different strategy and approach in according to each of their unique contexts. Adolescents have special vulnerability to HIV. This is related to the biomedical, to their developmental needs. And at the same time, adolescents are often neglected, often left behind, and often underserved by the HIV response. HIV is uh, disproportionately affecting our youth, our adolescents, in particular, the girl child, who is up to three to four times more likely or vulnerable to HIV when you compare to adolescent boys of the same age group. And that's the importance of looking into some of the gender issues that uh, increase vulnerability amongst uh, this age group, as well as amongst uh, the females in that age group. Uh, key amongst those is to be able to empower young girls towards self-efficacy and agency, to be able to empower them towards self-preservation, to be able to work with them to fully understand uh, what it is uh, that confronts them, the risks of unintended pregnancies, the risks of uh, HIV. For us to successfully end the fight against HIV, we need to work diligently to reduce the number of new infections among our adolescents and young people. These are the people who are going up to be the great next leaders in the society. We cannot talk about ending the AIDS epidemic or moving towards control of the HIV epidemic unless we address the question of adolescents around the world. And it's a wonderful opportunity because if we do that, we will be investing in the triple dividend, adolescent health today, adult health in the future, and of course, the next generation's well-being as well.